Alright, welcome back here by this Hop from Hop Nail Show. Just come in the mail today. Um, anybody got any idea what it is? Let's open it up. So it is, look there, McBar solo album. The other side. Okay, so the package is open. Looks like we have Mick. There's the back. Looks like it's open up lyrics. Let's pull out the vinyl, see what we got. Got a little clear vinyl. Thank you, Mick. All right, so I'm, up. I'm here to review Mick Mars' solo album. Got to listen to it probably four or five times. So I like the old school days where I check them out. And I decided I'm going to talk a little bit about each song and rate the song from one to five. In the previous videos, I showed you the album and the songs and all that. All right, so track number one, we got Loyal to the Lie. Rated that at number five. Great riff. Opening, great opening song for the album. Glad mixed back. Breakdown is awesome. Kick-ass guitar solo. Yeah, that song, great opening track. Um, second track, Broken on the Inside. I rated a three. Starts with voice box in, in the beginning with heavy guitars. Might be the heaviest song on the album. Very angry song. Song ends with solo, typical mix solo, good stuff. So let's see, next track, track number three is Alone. I gave that a five. Keyboard intro, it's the ballad on the album. I, I thought it was a really good song, it's very catchy. And the guy, the guy he's got for vocalist, he's got a really good voice. So, um. I gave that one a five in case I didn't say that. Um, next song is Killing Breed. Gave that a number two. That song is okay. Kind of boring, but I will say I like the guitar solo. The guitar solo is really good. The song was kind of eh. It's probably, I think it's lowest, the lowest song on the album as far as what I remember. And next song is another piano piece. It's called Memories. It's another ballad. I'd say I'm probably going to give that a four, maybe a five. The only reason it wouldn't have a five is because it didn't have no guitar, guitar parts, really. It's still a good song, though. So um, check out that. Does, if you're kind of wondering what the piano, piano stuff with no mick on guitar, that's kind of odd, but it's still. I gave it a four. Like I said, I'd have gave it a five probably if it would have had some guitar work. And on, on the second side, the right side of wrong, I gave that song a five. That song's very good. Heavy intro, very catchy. Chorus is good. Love the guitar solo, mixed style. Very good song. So, yeah, I gave that one a rated. That one's just as good as Lord to the Lie, I thought. And for the next track, we got um, Ready to Roll. I gave that a two. Um... Heavy intro, I got grungy song. Um, gets a little repetitive, but it did. There's stuff, some of the stuff on here kind of has an Vince Sevenfold sound. And this song didn't have a guitar solo, so I rated that pretty low too because I can't believe Mick's not putting a guitar solo on here. All right, so the next track, um, Undone, I gave a number three. Um, very modern sounding also compare this to Vinge Sevenfold again. Singer has that Shadows sound. Same as Lee Singer for Avenge. And I just put the songs okay. Is alright. Um Ain't Going Back, this next track, and I gave that a four. 
heavy, catchy intro, voice box intro. Very catchy, very good and catchy chorus. Has a fresh sound. Simple solo, but very fitting for the song. So, you know, still a good solo, and you don't have to go all the way out. Just sometimes it's just, sometimes I think if you got a solo, it fits. It don't have to be over the top. It's just a solo, so there you go. And then the last track is Lenore. I gave that a four. That's um, McMars Blues. I mean, it's just straight up blues, and it's instrumental. And it was a great way to finish the album. And it's probably closer to the five side. But yeah, that's that's what I was expecting the whole album to sound like. Kind of like that stuff. But it's got more of a new sound. But it's not bad. I, I've listened to it through, like I said, five or six times. And I've enjoyed it. It's, it's a pretty solid album. There's some ups and downs on the album. But all in all, it's pretty good. It's one of the better solo albums by the crew. Any of the members of the crew. So, um... Maybe y'all should go check it out. Like I said, it's the new Mick Mars. The other side of Mars. And it is a good album. So y'all go check it out. Hope you like this review. If there's any other albums you want to review or what's your input on this album. Um, just, just leave your information at the bottom in the comments section. Like I said, if there's anything else you'd like to hear me have me check out, just leave in the comments section. Until the next time, I'll see y'all. Peace.